everyone. I know this is not the most appealing shot, but there is like... I'm trying to fit my binders on the screen, and I have, uh, what's it called, three more binders to fit, so seven in total, and that is just not happening because these are already struggling. So anyways, I'm here to do a photo card collection video. My collection has changed drastically from the last time you've seen it because I definitely have picked up a lot more collections since the last time, so I'm excited. This is obviously going to be a longer video. I think since then, I decided I wanted to start collecting Stacy and TXT and, oh, Woozy. So yeah, anyways, just a lot of photo cards to go through right now, and I'm gonna stop rambling because I know this is gonna be long, so I hope that y'all enjoy. We're going to start with the OG, and that is my Joy photo card collection. I said this in my reorganizing video, but this is not my official cover for it. I just had somebody send me this, and I was like, you know what, let's just stick it on the front for now because there's nothing else going on here anyway. But this is probably my biggest binder. I think it's three inches, I wanna say. And in here, we just have Joy regular photo cards as well as her postcards. Here she is. Over here, I just have some random stuff, which is like her little espoir cover and then the sappy sticker and then this little summer magic receipt from the SM museum store or whatever. So here are the photo cards. I do have them organized by era and not chronologically. And there's a lot of photo cards because for those of y'all who don't know, Joy is like my OG. Like this was the collection that started this channel and all that stuff. Not much has happened in terms of releases for Joy aside from like Season's Greetings and her solo. But I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So first we have her business card for SM and then her COEX card for happiness era, as well as the bookmark. Then we get into ice cream cake, ice cream cake, sorry, era. So there's only only two cards, and that is her album photo card, as well as the Halloween Superstar SM card. Dum Dum album photo card, and then the Trolls event card, where if you spent 30,000 won, you got a random photo card. So we have Joy's Dum Dum, as well as the Polaroid set and then the ID photo that came with the set. And then we have all three of her, the red stickers. And then here we have the 2016 Seasons Greetings, I wanna say. And then her smile box card, which is one of my fave cards of all time. And then I'm gonna have another Coex card, the Velvet Album card, and then her second anniversary replica Polaroid. Today I found out that like, I don't know, there's just like a bunch of different versions of this that go around that are obviously fakes and I can never tell which one was real. Today I found out which one is real and it's like this very zoomed out one. So thank God I never actually paid money for this and I just printed it out myself because I would have been really sad knowing I paid hundred dollars for it and it was fake so I don't know I kind of like the zoom better anyway so I'll just keep it but then we get into Russian roulette which is almost a full page I adore this page I think it's so freaking cute so we have her album photo card the stickers the trolls pop-up store card and then we have the Polaroid and ID from the sets the 2017 season's greetings and her rookie stickers, the rookie album photo cards, and then the SM Town Osaka 2019 photo card. So how these cards work is that like every person who goes to the SM Town concert gets a random photo card between all of the SM artists. And then we have her Sheila Duty cards, which it is kind of insane how expensive these are now because I remember getting this in a set of like Wendy and Yeti and Irene, I think, for like $9. And now these cards go for like 100 individually, which is insane to me. But we have that red summer sticker and then the red summer album photo cards as well as the red room collect book which is such a cute card and then we have the third anniversary card so this is the regular one and this is the cafe one and then we have 
the Red Maryland Circular, which was given out at the concert at the Superstar SM booth, Perfect Velvet, album photo cards, collect book, paper folder, cash bee, and then the Red Mare Hollow. That's so random, like why do I have the Red Mare Hollow here? Instead of like, over here. Anyways, I don't know why this is here, but um, that's weird. I need to go through and reorganize my binder. So, even though I just posted a video doing that, I need to like, just rearrange all of my joy cards, but. We have the 2018 Seasons Greetings cards, the Yes 24 Clear card, Perfect Red Velvet album photo cards, Hollow, which is to die for. This is the thing that started the Hollows, and I think it's so freaking cute. The random Kino photo card, and then the normal Kino photo cards that just came with every single Kino. The sticker, and then we have her Etude House gift card as well as cookie jar. And then here I adore this row. This was Redmer and Jip, and I gave out a different photo card for every show. So we have all three here. And then we have the Redmer merch cards, which I honestly cannot tell you which is which. This is the card wallet, I wanna say. The ticket holder, and then the voice memo key ring. Okay, maybe I do remember. <laughs> so. The Summer Magic regular photo card, and then these were the two photo cards that came in the limited version. The Summer Magic stickers, Cash Bee, and the Pop Up Trolls event card, and the ID and Polaroid set. Summer Magic Hollow, which I freaking love this card. I think it's one of my fave hollows ever. Just such a pretty photo of her. The Pantone, one of my favorite cards ever too, just like, I love that she's smiling in this card. And then we have the Weekly Idol card, which is super rare, I think it was like 10 or 5 in existence, I'm pretty sure there's 10, didn't even have to break my bank for it, so we kind of stand that, I think that's so beautiful. Then the Summer Magic Lenti from the game. SM, I wanna say fifth anniversary or sixth anniversary, I don't know, I can't keep up, but um, for those of y'all who like want to see the Lenti or whatever, let me see if I can just take this out. So, you can kinda see it. I just hate that these cards are like, so similar. So, there's that. The RBB album photo card. This one is signed and we stand. So these are both album photo cards. I want to say the binder and then the iPhone card. This is like when I actively started collecting and I want to say during RBB. And so this is when I actively started collecting was around RBB era. So I was getting all this merch as it was coming out, and then I obviously have to catch up on everything beforehand. But we have the RBB Hollow, Cash B, and then the With Drama 2019 Seasons Greetings Pop. And then these are both from 11th Street, so they have the Hollow, or not the Hollow, but the Lenticular, and the regular one. This was a KCON 2020 photo card. I was given out at KCON Japan, and that was like a little promo thing for The Liar and His Lover, which is her drama. The thing I don't understand is that like, this card came out so much after the drama was released, so I don't know why um, they did this, but it's a really cute card regardless. Sappy album photo card, Revel of Baby Party Wallet, and then the fan club kit. For 2019, I want to say. Here we have the Espoir photo cards. Um, did I put a hollow sleeve on all of these or just one of these? Because it looks like just one, but we have all three of these. These were the ones that were given out at the store. And then these two were given out at the Zimzella Bim showcase. We have the card holder from the Time to Love postcard, maybe? And then the Time to Love stamp, I want to say, pouch, and then her Pantone card. And then we have album photo cards for day one, so we have the guidebook version, and then these are the day one version, the Kino, hate the braids, 
I hate that I gave us so many cards with them too. Um, like exhibit A, B, C, D, you know. Um, the stickers, the hollow, and then the two trading cards, which thank God they stopped using those photos. And then the cash bee, the ticket that came in the album, and then this is the signature card that comes in the puzzle. Then we have the day one tag. Then we get into day two era. So this is the... I believe these are the day two versions, and then this is the guidebook version, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then the Kino, as well as the SM Town little tag, the hollow, the ticket, and then this was the La Rouge hairpin, I wanna say. So that was like a merch item at La Rouge in Japan. Then we get into my finale set, which I think is so pretty. It's such a god tier set. We have her three scrapbook cards and then her two finale versions. And then the photo tag from SM Global Shop, the hollow, Lenti, projector key ring, the two stickers, and the La Rouge in Japan photo card. This was like a another event card where if you spent a certain amount, I believe, you got a photo card. And this is such a cute card as well. I think these two. Honestly, I'm, I, I say I don't like photo shoot cards, but I've noticed that every single card I've pointed out is a photo shoot card that I'm like, oh, this is one of my favorite cards, you know? So, the Switzerland Cash B, the Switzerland Puzzle Signature Card, and then La Rouge Photo Book Card. And then we get into the La Rouge merch. So I believe all three of these are the ones that came in the trading card packs, as well as these. These were the messages that were given out. And then this was the acrylic key ring, ticket holder, and then I can't remember the last merch item. And this one is hollow, which I think is so pretty. Then my season's greetings page, which you're not hallucinating, like there is like three of the same card on here. Well, they're different cards, but they're all pops from different stores, but they use the same photo, which is annoying. So these are the cards that came in the actual 2020 season's greetings. And then I want to say this is 11th Street, K-Town for you. One of these is with Drama, Hot Tracks, Sonara. I don't know. There's just like all these different pops that I can't keep track of, but they're there. Then we have the G Market gift card and the Trolls photo card. So this one was given out at the movie if you want to go see it in Korea. And this is given out in the DVD, and she does unfortunately share this card with James Corden, which, I don't know, James Corden, I mean him just have beef. <laughs> like, just something about him. But then we get into the memories, I believe, was that what they were calling it? Like, a uh, precious moment. This was the photo card that came with the, what was it, like the wallet keyring or something? I can't remember. And then we have the fan club cards for 2020. One of these is the regular back and one of these is the signature back. And then we have the God tier denim photo shoot, which is still a mystery. So we have the, the event one for the Trolls pop-up and then the ID and Polaroid sets. Then we get into 2021 season's greetings. At least there was a little bit more variety this time. So we have the ones that came with the season's greetings and then I get completely lost. <laughs> so there's like K-Town for You with Drama, Aladdin, um, 11th Street is one of these, and then I think 11th Street is this one, I don't know. But this is Hot Tracks. Yeah, so it says it's on the back. And then these are the two SM Town and Store pops that or like version of the cards, and this was like the only different one. Maybe I should have had my exposure up this whole time. I'm so sorry, but yeah. And then we get into more pops. I just randomly started collecting them. There's no system to this, but like I said, just more stores. I think this one is, the name is slipping, like Inner Park, SM True, and then these were the two cards that came in the Seasons Greetings photo packs. And this is a SM store pop-up little thing for the top loader decorating event. And then we get into her solo cards, 
which are to die for. So we have the photo book version, and then we have the case version for that. And I can't wait for them to release the hollows and all that because they're going to be so freaking pretty. Then we have the RBB binder index, which transitions this binder into the postcards. So we have ice cream cake, the velvets, Russian roulette, Ricky, Red Room, I could pick that up, Red of Summer, and then we have the units for Red Summer and the Perfect Velvet. Perfect Velvet, God it's here, like I love this photo so freaking much. Perfect Red Velvet. And then we get into the standees. So we have the Bad Boys standee. Well, they did a postcard instead. But then we have the Summer Magic standee. Summer Magic postcards. Red Mare. And then the third Red Mare one, as well as the Hollow stickers. RBB. RBB Hollow and Zimzella Bim Hollow standee. And then we have the standees for RBB and day one. Day one postcards. Day two standee and uh, finale standee. They didn't release any postcards for day two. I think uh, the red and day two are the only eras that we didn't get postcard sets for. And then the finale postcards. And then we have her unit with Wendy over here. But then we have La Rouge. And then her Seasons Greetings photo pack postcards. And then these are just random Seasons Greetings pops. So this is the um, Aladdin clear one. One of these is Aladdin, I can't remember. <laughs> And then on the other side, we have her postcard from the fan club kit, and then the time to love one, which I'm obsessed with this hollow effect, for those of y'all who can see. And then here we have the postcards from the season's greetings. And then here are just random trolls bookmarks that were given away at the trolls event as well. Then here is my other joy binder. This basically houses her other merch such as 4x6s and a 4s and this is just a little photo that I got printed at the print machine from SM. I just stuck her on the front. Okay, so we have the automatic... Okay, so these are all 4x6s so we have automatic, the red, the velvet, and there was two types for the velvet. And then some of these photos are from the print machine at the SM store, which is no longer a thing um, because for those of y'all who don't know, the 4x6s stick out and they don't fit in the top pocket. So I just used those photos to fill these spots since I had them anyway. Um, but we have Russian Roulette, Rookie, and then a Rookie print, uh, the Red Summer, and then this is a little another concert thing. The perfect velvet, the perfect red velvet, another print machine photo, Summer Magic, RBB, day one, day two, and then the postcard that was given out at her birthday event for 2019, and then finale, and then this is actually a envelope that came with the happiness polarator that I have. And it was cute because they were given out in these envelopes and she signed the envelope and wrote a message which I adore, one of my treasures, so. And then we have the Velvet Taiwanese postcard and cookie jar and savvy postcards as well. And then back here we have the Polaroid from the Season Screenings photo pack. And then all three of these photos are from the Red Velvet 5th fan meeting, I believe, their 5th anniversary. Um, I remember paying an arm and a leg for them. Her sticker, and then this was a pop from Sonara, I believe, for the 2021 season's greetings. Then over here we have all of the Rev Festival trilogy postcards. So we have the day two finale postcard, and then the Polaroid that it came with the day two album. Finale bookmark, or no, this is the finale bookmark, and this was the receipt. And then we have the 
red Polaroids. And then on the other side, we have the Russian roulette ones. And then the postcards from the 2019 season's greetings. And then her Pantone message card, postcards from the 2020, I'm sorry. This is 2019 season's greetings. This was 2020, I got confused. Then we get into a bunch of prints from the SM shop. Um, I won't name every single one because they're just like a bunch of random prints, but I will go ahead and flip through them for you. They're honestly such pretty photos. I adore them. The La Rouge film strip as well as the Red Mirror one. And then just more photos from uh, Level Up. These are so freaking cute. G Market postcard. The postcard from the little wallet or whatever that they released for the Switzerland merch. And this random flyer of Joy Aveda. And then here we have her SM birthday card which I just broke out into four pieces because I just like displaying it that way. And then her La Rouge lanyard thing or whatever. So we have that. The day one standee, day two tag. And then Joy was on an OST and they released Polaroids of all the artists that were featured on the OST for the keynote. So I have Joy's and then this is Joy's pre-order benefit from the 2020 or not 2020, 2018 Seasons Greetings, sorry. I keep trying to remember which Seasons Greetings is which and it's like all slipping my mind. Then we have the Polaroids from her solo. So we have four on the front and then we have another two on the back. And then here we have Espoir postcards um, from their collection. And then here is the Finale Binder Index, which we get into all of the one pocket stuff. So here we have this sticker page with all the stickers that don't fit in the binder. So we have the Velvet, Perfect Velvet, and Perfect Red Velvet. The um, individual photo card is what they call it for the red. And the 2017 Seasons Greeting Standee. And then here we have the Tower Records flyer. So we have Cookie Jar and Sappy. Uh, postcard from the first fan kit, Smilebox postcard, another G Market postcard, and I believe this was like from the invitation I want to say for La Rouge. Then we get into the 2018 Season's Greetings postcards, 2019 calendar pages, as well as the A4s, 2020 calendar pages and the A4s, and the 2021 <laughs> calendar pages, and the A4s. Are we seeing, starting to see a pattern here? Then we get into all of her official A4s. For those of y'all who are gonna ask what sleeves I use, I get these off of Amazon Japan. These are the only ones that I can find that fit, and like are of quality that I like. I think I'll try to link that down below, but if I don't, um, just try to look up a4 page on Amazon Japan and it might pop up. So we have the red velvet, which is so pretty by the way, like uh, so stunning. Russian roulette, they came out with two types, Russian roulette, rookie, the red summer, perfect velvet, perfect red velvet, summer magic, RBB, day one, day two finale. And then we get into the broadcast posters. So I do have every single one. We have Happiness, Ice Cream Cake, Russian Roulette, Rookie, which um, is signed. And then Red Summer, Perfect Velvet, Perfect Red Velvet, um, Summer Magic, RBB. And that's when they stopped doing them. And then back here, I have all of my backs from the standees because I'm a hoarder. So we just have all of them here. And just a bunch of random stuff, I guess, which is not a part of my collection. I don't need to get into it, but since we're on a red velvet kick, I'll go ahead and do these two binders next. 
For those of y'all who are going to ask where I got the Finale binders, because I have gotten asked that. They're cute binders, so I get it. These were made by a Korean Revelove, and it was uh, basically a limited merch run or whatever, where they only ordered or manufactured, I guess, as many binders as they got orders for. If that makes sense, so you can only ever get these for resale now, which is how I got mine. If you check on Korean Twitter, you, if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to find them. I was lucky enough to find this, and then it wasn't until like a few months later when I found this pink one, which I'm obsessed with. So one of these houses bigger inclusions, which I think is this one, and then this one houses the album photo cards. So I'll go ahead and get into the pink one first. So here is the binder. She's so cute. It says Psycho on the side, and then the back just says the Rev Festival. So I do collect OT5 for the album photo cards. I just give Joy her own binder, and then I have the other four members in their own binder. I really like this layout because I can fit two eras on a page, and then for eras that have double photo cards, I can just fit both sets on one page. So we have ice cream cake the red group photo card, and then the individual ones as well. The velvets, Russian roulettes, and then rookie, red summer, perfect velvets, perfect red velvet, and I did make these placeholders by myself. I don't claim them to be like the world's cutest placeholders, but they get the job done. Then we have my Kino photo cards, which I love this paper that I found. It's so cute. Cookie jar. Summer magic. These, I believe, are the regular cards, and then these are the limited ones. And then these are the transparent cards. RBB, which is such a god tier set. I was listening to RBB the other day, and it's just like, uh, the song aged so well. Like, it's so freaking good. Sappy day one, day one version, I want to say. And then we have the guidebook version as well as the Kino. Day two, these are the day two versions. And then the guidebook version and the Kino. Then we get into my finale set. So I believe this page is the the finale version of the album and just such a pretty set then we get into the scrapbook version so we have Irene Sulgi and then Wendy Yeti here monster photo cards I believe this is top notes middle notes and then we have the guarantee cards that um, the album came with. I don't know if y'all can see them, but oh, there you go. Now y'all can kind of see them. There's Irene Silky and then the unit, and then base note. And then here we have Wendy's solo photo cards. I don't love how I organize this page, but it's too late now. So we have, I believe these are the photo book version, and then these are the case version, and then we have the guarantee card and then replicas of the special limited cards. And then back here we do have the transparent photo cards. And then we get into more bigger album inclusions. So we have the postcards from Monster. I'm gonna have to slide this over because there is some on the back. So this is all of Solgi's, and then these are all of Irene's. And then we have the finale postcards, so Irene, Sulgi, Yeti, um, well this is Wendy, that's Yeti. And then just some random merch that I've collected, so we have Irene's day two postcard, and then the group 4x6, and then Wendy's bookmarks for her solo, and then we get into the base note um, postcards for a monster. And then lastly, the finale receipts, which is so satisfying being able to find pockets for these. So thanks, Sean, for sending me these six pockets. Then we have my binder for the bigger inclusions and like non-album stuff. So 
Um, first, we have this random page of Irene cards because I would just collect cards of Irene here and there. So we have the Day 2 Hollow, Finale Hollow, Lenti set, the La Rouge trading cards, I believe, and then this is the RBB group card, the La Rouge Finale group card, and then this was a RBB card from the Dream Concert. So just some random little merch item that I bought from a Korean seller. Then here we get into the Hollow cards. So for those y'all who love Hollow, there you go. These are the um, I want to say the keyring charms or whatever for the Rouge merch. And then we get into the denim Hollow cards for the Trolls Pop Up Store. Then the and then we have the Polaroid sets from the Trolls merch. So we have the red. Russian roulette, and then I just put uh, four of their ID photos and these middle placeholders, which I think is so cute, dare I say. I have a Summer Magic Polaroid set. It's kind of annoying because the alignment for the printing was kind of off, so you kind of see like these white bars or whatever for the set. But then we get into the ID photos and then the denim set as well. And then you can see the denim ID photos on the back. Here we have the Seasons Greetings photo cards. These are just the ones that came in the actual Seasons Greetings. And I put hollow sleeves on them because I think they're so cute. These are the photo cards from the Seasons Greetings photo packs. Oh, we have the um, little transparent photo cards back here as well. But then we have the Seasons Greetings photo packs one. So we have the photo shoot cards and then the selfie ones. I don't usually collect OT5 for merch, but I just miss them so much that I needed some serotonin boost of OT5. So that's why I bought all five of them. And then here we have random cards again. So we have Irene's LaRouge photo book, the Oh What photo cards. I really want to get Wendy's, but I'm waiting for them to come out and be cheap because people were running group orders, but they were really expensive. And then we have Irene's Switzerland cash bee. And then this is super random, but this is just uh, postcards from the Trolls merch. So I think they called them like coloring postcards or whatever. So we have all five members here. And then more of the coloring postcards, but for Russian roulette era. And then I'm gonna quickly flip through this. Don't tell us I'm showing you all these Dear You cards, but I just put the corresponding photo card with the letter that she wrote for that month. And then this month I started collecting two of them. So I was uh, lucky enough to not pull dupes in the letters that I got. Some of them I did, so that's why you only see one card. But other times I got really lucky. I think this is one of my favorite cards just because of the filter that represents all five girls. And then we have the La Rouge film strips that came in the photo book. I think the only one I'm missing is the backstage one, which I can live without, but we have that one. And then just some random trolls, Bone in the Dark stickers on the back. I totally forgot I had those. But we have Irene's postcard from Seasons Greetings, Silky. Wendy, Yeti, and then we have the Polaroids right here, and then just random standees, so Irene's Day 2 and Finale standee, which I think are so gorgeous, which is why I collected them, and then we have tr random Trolls postcards again, so these were all the hollow postcards, which I think are to die for, they're so cute, and then Yeti on the back. And then this was the pop-up store ones, so we just have all of these. So that concludes the Red Velvet collection of this video. Next we have my Ults binder, and this houses my Park Bomb, Leah, soon to be Jenny, soon to kick out Stacy because they're gonna get their own binder. Espa and Woozy collection. And this binder is literally overflowing. Like the pages are up to the brim. So I desperately need to move Stacy to their own binder, but I haven't gotten the chance to do that. I've just been like busy doing other things. But over here we have Leah's Not Shy postcard from the Priority Benefits and then Leah's receipt from one of the gotcha events for Wannabe. Here we have Park Bomb 
Uh, Perk Bomb is basically who got me into K-pop. She was my first bias ever, so she holds a special place in my heart, and I love her to death. But we have the 21 card, the second mini album, which I was fortunate enough to buy signed, YG Exhibition, and then we have her cards for Crush. What was the album called? Was it called Crush? Yes. I think, I don't know, it literally has been so long. Um, but then we have the last two here, and then we have one of her cards from the Dream Concert, and then the six cards from the solo release of Spring, which I think these photo cards are so cute. Park Bomb, please come back with a physical release. I want to collect some more cards of you and talk to you and get into a fan center or whatever. And then we have the cards from 444, and then one of her fan meeting cards. There is another one that I'm missing, but have not been able to find that one. Then we get into Leah, who is in fact my Etsy bias, and we have the Prada card for Dala Dala, her five icy cards, which might be my favorite set of cards ever. I just think that the colors and stuff are so pretty. Then we have Wannabe, and then the Wannabe units. I've considered getting rid of the units, um, and just collecting like Leah's three cards and just keeping a row, which I think is would be so cute. But then when they messed up the three photo cards for guess who, I was like, okay, let's just stick with the unit photo cards. So we get into not shy, and then we have the units, and I usually try to keep them in age order. Here we go, Leah's guess who pop, and then all four album photo cards, and then here we go, her limited photo cards. Then we just have a random dump page. So I have her, or it sees, I guess, Emway photo cards up here. They have the two icy ones and then the wannabe one. This is Leah's Sub K fan sign card. This is the MMT fan sign card. And this was the group pop for the Halloween video call event. And then for winning the event, you actually got a Polaroid of the girls. And then with Drama Hollow, and then with Fans Hollow, my rule for Leah now is to collect album pops and holographic pops. So that's why over here we have her Aladdin pop and the With Drama ones for Guess Who. And then let's see if I can, there y'all can see the hollow. We have her Icy postcards and then the wannabe ones over here. And then we get into my Stacy collection, which is really freaking thick and we desperately need to move her to her own binder like I keep saying but we start with So Bad Era and these are the album photo cards. If you notice the placeholders for this one are different but I'm in the process of trying to accumulate more of these sleeves and they just haven't come yet but we have both versions of the album PCs. I do collect OT6 for Stacey and that includes everything the pops, the merch and I don't know I'm just insane so Somebody free me from K-pop, but we have the first round of stores that they did. They did three random stores that would release two different members, and we have the first round. They did two rounds. I have Suman's on the way, and then Sans is crazy expensive, so I don't have that one yet. I'm not rushing to get her until like I catch a break with these comebacks. Then we get into Market Shop. I do have Yoon's Market Shop on the way. She is just with a proxy right now. G Market, oh what, I do have Yoon's oh what, which actually might be at my P.O. box as we speak, but I'm not 100% sure, MMT, and then we have the winner's Polaroid that you got, and then this is the second round of stores that they did for the So Bad Pops, and then Make Star. These are my Togopedia replicas. Um, they look kind of whack, but it's whatever. So we won't get into that. Tower Records, Polaroids, Isa and Shein's are real because I was originally only going to collect those two who are my biases from the cards, but then I decided I wanted to collect OT6. So then I just printed out replicas of the other pops for the girls. So the other ones are replicas because they're just crazy expensive. They're printed Polaroids that sell for an arm and a leg for no reason. Then we get into ASAP era. So we have album photo cards. The three rounds of stories that they did. They only did one round actually this time, so love that. Make star round one, round two. 
with trauma. Round one and round two. Apple music round one and round two. It just blows my mind how they did multiple rounds of multiple stores. MMT. And then you got like a winner's holographic group card. And then mock it shop. And then here we have the album postcards. And then here we have fan sign winner postcards. I just threw in these three polaroids in here because I didn't want to find a place for them and for the time being. But we have these three polaroids and you had to like win them from certain stores by just buying albums or whatever. And there was five stores in total, but I only have three and they're just like crazy expensive so I'm not too worried about them but then we have the G Market postcard which I won but then this is a uh, with drama postcard that I actually bought from somebody then we get into my Giselle collection so we have the Black Mamba Lenti which um, I don't know if you can see Giselle let me see if I can take it out that's better. So, such a pretty card. The Hollow, which I wish they gave to Giselle herself and not the AI. And then the SM Global Pob, which Caesar, thank you. I owe you my life because I see how expensive those cards go for and I kind of gas. They're insane. The Black Mamba Epoxy sticker card, which I think sold for $200 on eBay today, or at least I saw a listing, and that is insane. It was like an auction. Um, I got mine for $20 of a global shop, so. Yeah, the Espa merch is crazy, y'all. Bitches go crazy for Espa. And then the Forever Hollow and Forever Cash Bee. And then Black Mamba Standee and Forever Standee. And then the 4 by 6 is for both eras, as well as the Hollow Film Strip for Black Mamba. And then here we have Giselle's A4 for Black Mamba, and then Forever. And then I have my several stuff on the way. She's just at my Karina dress right now. Then we get into my Woozy collection. I collect album photo cards for Woozy and then just random merch, I guess, that I buy in lots on Mercari or like cards that y'all are gracious enough to send me. So I appreciate it, thank you. So first we have the Boys B cards, Love and Letter, and then all three cards from Going 17. And then we have all three cards from All One. I have Woozy's unit with DK here. Um, I just like the look of like all three cards fitting on one row, so I put DK and Woozy on the back of that one. But then we have these cards for Teenage, which I think is my favorite set just because of this card alone. It's just such a cute card. So we stand. Then we get into the You Make My Day photo cards. Well, down here, and then up here we have. Director's Cut, this Lenti is such a cute card. I literally die for it. Can y'all see it? It's just like such a cute card. We have You Make My Day, and then You Made My Dawn, which is incomplete as you can see. Then we start getting into an ode. There was so many freaking photo cards for an ode, and bless the OT13 collectors because I cannot imagine having to collect that many cards for 13 people, let alone, you know, one person. So, um, we have all the different versions here. Then we get into Hangare. I'm missing two cards from this set. And then the two semicolon ones. I don't have any of this photo cards for your choice yet. I'm not worried about them. I figure I could just get them later from like a proxy or something, so. In the meantime, my collection is just lacking. And then we get into a bunch of random photo cards, which I really don't feel like getting into, but these are a mix of like the trading cards as well as like little promotional cards. I love this card because it looks so tiny in it. So freaking cute. And then we have like fan sign pops and uh, K Town for You pop and Japanese release and just a mixture of random cards. Brad sent me this card. Thank you, Brad. I love you, adore you. Fan club kit card, season's greetings, um, photo book card. And then we have his set for the incomplete merch. So I put his uh, mass drop card here, but then well, the rest of this is just the trading cards, cards, trading cards? 
yeah, I don't know why I said curse twice. His unit here, and then we have his bookmarks for Hengare. And then the bigger inclusions for semicolon. And then we have more stuff back here, like an ode and the circle card. And then you make my son poster, the lens tee. Why is this? <laughs> Why is this upside down? What the hell? Falling flower pop, you make my you made my dawn lens tee. Um just more random inclusions, you know, and then all of the an ode flyers, postcards, or posters, whatever you want to call them. And then <laughs> His standee for teenage. Then we have my TXT collection, which doesn't have an official cover for it, but I want to do a Sanrio sticker collage moment on top of here. Um, and then over here on the side, we have the Blue Hour stickers, which I think are so cute. And then we have Tay and Kai's Lucky Draws. I decided I want to collect one Lucky Draw per member for Blue Hour, so I have Jelly Kai and then this little cute Tay card with a sparkle on his cheek. My throat was like starting to run dry. But we have the photo cards and then postcards and everything in the back. So I do collect Subin and Bumkyu for TXT. I originally started out collecting Subin, but then I really wanted to collect Bumkyu because I adore Bumkyu and his cards are so pretty on top of that. So first we have cat and dog broadcast. So we have the dog version and the cat version and then Magic. I can't remember the versions of the albums for the life of me, so I apologize, but we have the, oh, actually, maybe I do. We have the Sanctuary version, an Arcadia version, or vice versa. So, the paper frame cards, I do have Bunk use on the way from a proxy, and then the 2020 Seasons Greetings cards, so we have Subin, Bunk you, and then Subin's ID. And for Magic Hour, we have the UMJ cards and then the Webley cards, which I think are so cute, especially Subin's is my all-time fave. And then over here, we have Eternity Lucky Draws. So we have Subin port version and starboard version. And then we have the signature card in the middle. And then we have Bumpy as well, but I am missing his starboard version. EGU band sign cards, so we have the group one, and then the Subin and Bumkyu, obviously. Uh, drama, we have the UMJ ones, and then I have their Wow Wow cards on the way. I don't have a slot for that, but I do need to add that. The photo book card, I do want to collect one per unit. I don't see the point in like collecting all four. Um, so like two of Subin, so two of Bumkyu. So I do think I want the Bumkyu and Tay one here. So I'm look up for that card, but they're just so expensive that I'm like, at that point, I might as well buy another photo book, you know? Blue Hour album photo cards, we have all three versions, so we have the VR, AR, and- or R version, AR, VR, sorry. And then, continues down here, and then here we have Lucky Draws. I have the concept ones for AR and VR, and those are really the only ones I'm interested in anyway. And then we start getting into the actual Lucky Draws. I don't have any of Bumkyu's except for one, and that's just because the Blue Hour Lucky Draws are so expensive that I just had to put that on hold after I splurged on finding suit bins. So, we have the suit concept one here, which is shared between both stores, M2 and Soundwave. And then we get into the selfie ones or the other ones. So we have the R concepts. I don't really name them by store, but one of them is M2, one of them is Soundwave. I can't remember which one is which off the top of my head, but we have the R one and then the error concept, which I do have bump use for. VR concept, which Hoodie Supin is God tier, such a cute one, and then another VR concept. This is my fave of all time, like Bumpy's for this one is God tier as well. Then uh, the Weaver's clear cards, I'm only collecting them for the sake of keeping the organization on my binder. I don't think that they're cute, but I do have Bumpy's on the way, and then we have the Mesima cards here, Bumpy's is on the way as well. And then here we have all three rounds of EGU, the last Weverse fan sign card, so Supin, Bumkyus is on the way, 2021 Season's Greetings photo cards, 
and then the memories. And then here we have the Soul Dreaming cards. So we have UMJ, HMV, Weverse, and then the standard version. We have the Japanese Renewal Fan Club kits. The, uh, what are these called? Like the ticket, card tickets or whatever for Fan Live MOA Campus. And then the album photo cards. I only have Bum Hughes for now, which is sad, but I do have all of the other members on the way. And then the concept Lucky Draws, which this is a god tier set, just the, the concept overall, best concept from the album. And then the fan life cards. Then we start getting into album cards because y'all know uh, TXC loves to release like these giant eight pocket photo card cards. So I still am missing Bum Hughes frame card, but we have the frame card to you and then the two for magic, the light stick card, fan live mini bag card, Bum Hughes is on the way, Eternity, we have the port version, the starboard version, and then the transparent one. And then we have the random cards from Fan Life. So I can't remember which set is the t-shirt and which one is the bandana. And there was an additional merch item, the bag. Can't remember which one is which, but we have all of those. And I kept this one to keep the sake of like, you know, the rose, which this is such a cute unit card anyway, so I'm not mad at it. Then we have the Fan Life cards. This set is so expensive, I just decided to select only Subins for this one. But then for to make up for that, I collected OT5 for this year's Fan Live. So Subins full sets, Yeonjun, Bumkyu, Tae, and Kai. And then we have all of the units right here. And then we get into random merch. So we have the Eternity postcards. Still looking for bum views because these are stupid expensive. And then the uh, broadcast cards. I kind of gave up on these because I originally had all five of Supins on the way, but they somehow got lost or something. I kind of gave up on those. And then I'm still missing Subin's runaway version for like, basically double version or whatever, as people like to call it. That was in the package that had my other four Subin broadcasts, but yeah. Then we have the Blue Hour broadcast and the fairy cards for 2021 season's greetings. Then we have the postcards for the Japanese releases, so Magic Hour and Drama. And, and then the notepads for Magic and Subin's frame photos at the bottom, drama, postcards, and then New Year's Eve live. I have the group one on the way from Pat. And then over here we have still dreaming postcards, season's greetings at the top. Still missing bum cues for this one because for some reason like this concept is harder to find and then bum cues postcard, the still dreaming merch postcards, and then over here we have the Blue Hour album postcards. So these are so cute. I love them. And then this was a lucky draw little photo that was sent to me by Jen or from Jen. So thank you. And then the EGU little postcard. And then back here we have the memories pops from Weavers. And then over here we have Subin's posters from the Japanese releases. So the Tower Records flyers from Magic Hour and Soul Dreaming. And then Drama right here. And then last but not least, Lucky Draw selfie postcards. So we have these two and then this last one on the back. And then last but not least, we have my dump binder, which is basically just an accumulation of cards that y'all have sent me and just cards that don't fit in my other binders. So just kind of like random people I collect but don't go full in depth for. First we have Blackpink. I did decide I wanted to start collecting Jenny so you won't see any of my Jenny cards in here, but I did originally collect Rose A for the album PC, so I do have her complete set and her How You Like That Pop. And then we have Jisoo cards down here. Lisa, the two Target group photo cards, 
And then we have these random cards down here, like Japanese releases and DVD releases. So then we have Rose. I know this binder is a mess. Y'all are gonna grill me for it. Feel free to, it's warranted. It's just like hard to like organize stuff when I just have literally a dozen random cards, you know? So we have the Rose K10 for you pops, two of the album photo cards from her solo, and then Jisoo, how you like that album photo card, as well as the pops. Then we have Asha photo card, so I have her full set for negative 573 times negative whatever, you know what I mean, like the La Dida album. And then her first two cards from The Last Melody, so courtesy of Mav, so I have her first press card and one of her album photo cards. Then we get into Chunga, so I did get play for my Secret Santa gift and it came with a set of cards, which I think are so cute. And then random twice cards, um, Eyes One, Kim Lip, Preston. And then more random cards that y'all have sent me. This June PC from Hangare, uh, Wanu, Semicolon, which I think I pulled. Kai, Kai Solo, ugh, Immaculate. I think Kai is my exo bias now. Lucas Super M, and, and then this Awaken the World Pob. BTS group card, more um, Yena cards, and this God Tier Jimin card. I love Jimin so freaking much. Like, ugh, oh my God, my king. Midnight Kim Lip cards. And then we get into my Wano collection. This top row is from when he was still in Monster X. And then I did decide I wanted to collect his solo very loosely. A lot of these cards actually came from y'all for his solo, so I'm super grateful for that. Thank you so freaking much. So we have his K10 for you pops for Love Synonym. Version 2 cards. And then this card from version 3. And then the rest of these, I believe, are version 1. This is such a god tier card. I'm literally one card away from completing version 1, which is like, why haven't I just already done that? Then we start getting into his Love Synonym Part 2 cards. So these were the MMT pops. And then these are the K-Town For You ones. Ugh, I love Mono, like, such god tier cards. I was trying to collect all his version 1 cards. I'm missing one, so if anybody wants to trade this one for the last one that I need, do let me know. But I also don't mind having this card because I think it's so cute. Then we get into random cards. So we have these Juhan cards from Fatal Love, which Caroline was gracious enough to trade me for. So we have the album photo cards. The Lenti and the Scratch card, which this is such a freaking god tier card. And we have these two cards from Are You There? Ten photo cards. So down here, um, these are just random ones. I do have more that I'm keeping for a friend. <laughs> have his Awaken the World one and then his Resonance 2020 card, which I actually was uh which I actually pulled. And then his circle card as well. Then we have random Vernon cards, which all of y'all have sent me, which y'all are literally insane. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. So we have You Made My Dawn, and then all of these and Ode PCs. And we have OTU Tour PC, um, random circle card from an Ode, K10 Few Pop, Fan Sign PC. Just accumulation of random cards, which I won't entirely get into. This teenage card to die for, so freaking cute, as well as his semicolon one. Just look at him, he's so cute. Um, I have his incomplete cards. I am missing the other one of him in the sweater. So when I will I get that card, I don't know. It's not really a priority for me. I kind of forgot that I still needed that card. But yeah, then we have his going 17 cards. This is just super random, but this was like a postcard that I got from a pin and I just put it in here because it was just laying on my desk and I was like, you know what, let's just throw it in here, which is basically a symbol for how unorganized this binder is. Then we have this 10 Resonance PC. We get into my Blackpink, the album postcards. So 
This Jenny one, God, it's here. Jenny is just that fucking bitch, y'all. Like, I fucking love Jenny. Uh, so, this rose one that a subscriber sent me as well, which thank you so much. It's such a pretty postcard. And then we have postcards from her solo right here. Um, you got four in each album, so that's why there is four. The Kill This Love postcards, which I do have three of Jenny's. I'm missing one, but um, I do have more on the way. Then we get into Wano postcards. So we have Love Synonym Part 1 and then the little film strip moment. And then the bookmarks for Part 2 and then Juhan's Fatal Love bookmark, which is just so random. And then we have more tour postcards of Vernon, Vernon's Falling Flower, little cover, Master X Polaroid, and then this Vernon DK unit from Semicolon, and then three out of four of Vernon's bookmarks for Hangare. And then here we have random freebies that I made over time, and it's just nice to have them all in one place or whatever, and just like see the progression of my freebies. So I won't get into them. <laughs> yes, I do keep my own photo cards and my own stickers. And then down here we have Caroline's uh, little freebies that she gives out, so I think that's cute. Anyways, my throat is so dry. I'm so tired now. I've been filming for about an hour and a half. So if you stuck to this point of the video, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope y'all are doing well. I always say the same thing in all of my outros, but um, yeah, I love y'all so much. And peace out. Cause in